Good morning, everybody. So I have a few things that I would like to share with you today. Um, it's really important, especially for any of you that have been um, being hacked by Nithya Nanda and uh, Blissful Athlete. Uh, this video is going to be very important for you. Um, I would also like to uh, tell you up front, uh, as I speak in this video, I am speaking to you from the level of religion, which is in the personhood and it is all having to do with Hinduism, okay? So, um, yesterday, I was minding my business here, I was working, and all of a sudden, I was thrown off my computer, my work computer. Then I look at my cell phones, and although the phone said that I was hooked up to the computer, YouTube was telling me I was not hooked up to the computer. So. Recently, I went out and bought a security router, supposed to stop the hackers, and um, they had hacked into my security router. This is after I removed the torture to Nithya Nanda's Kailasa page, they had hacked into my security router. Um, so I found out how they hacked into the security router, and I fixed that, and I'm going to share that with you right now. Um, I had hired a, uh, a tech, an IT group to, uh, that I can call to search my computers whenever they're hacked into all my stuff to help me get my computers back online so I don't have to keep spending $400 to go buy new computers. So um, I called this, uh, the IT guy one day and uh, he says, Ma'am, I'm looking through all of your stuff. I don't see anything here. I said, look, I'm tired of being told this. I'm really tired of being told this. Even AT&T was telling me, AT&T phones are so secure, nobody can hack into these phones. I said, please, I'm living this on a daily basis. Stop telling me this. So what he told me was, get offline. Don't be on Wi-Fi. Uh, reset the phone back to factory settings. Reset your passcode. And every time I would do that, they were hacked back in my phone again. How the hell are they doing this? So I called, um, I called the IT guy back again. And he's looking through all my stuff. He says, ma'am, I don't see anything in here. And I said, you know, there was one day I was trying to upload a video. They were stopping me from uploading it on my phone to YouTube. I said, and as I was uploading it on my laptop here, iCloud kept popping up and I kept clicking off of it and that black box would pop up like when you make a program change the black box that pops up kept popping up I would keep clicking the X to shut it down and I had to keep doing that that was the only way I was able to upload my video and I said they're getting in my in my stuff through iCloud I said how do I find out where, where do I find this iCloud I never used iCloud I have no idea where it is so the IT guy showed me, and I want to tell you, go to www.icloud.com, sign in with your iCloud settings, and in there, you will be able, where you see your name over to the upper right-hand corner, if you click on your name, um, a box will drop down, and click on where it says settings. When that opens up, you will see devices, devices that have signed into your iCloud account. Well, lo and behold, guess who I saw in there? It was Jordan Kramer, AKA Dritta, AKA the Blissful Athlete. It actually showed me a map in California with the exact town where it was coming from. So I am, in fact, writing the local police department over there to let them know exactly what was found. The other thing that they did, I had bought, you guys know the story, I had bought a used um, computer so that I could make my, uh, my little music videos that I wanted to make and do my book recordings. Um, and they were trying to stop me from doing that. So they hacked into that computer too. 
And that was how they got into my security router yesterday. Because it was a Dell computer, a Dell Chromebook. And I had set that computer up as one of the computers that was allowed to access the security system. And um, that's how they got in. So now I had to delete that computer from the internet. So here's what I want to tell you guys. Here's the trail of the breadcrumbs. I first started learning about how they were doing this stuff through Vijay Kumar. Remember, I posted a video, video many, many times. It was the one that said, Nithi Ananda gave me sex torture. Um, he's the one who said that they hack into your stuff through social media. So through your YouTube page or your Facebook page, they will get into your computer system, your cell phone, and then they will get your IP address and they will hack into your internet system. So it doesn't matter how many phones I would have bought, how many different, I, the phone I have right now, I have never even created an account. They're hacked into that phone through the internet because it was hooked up to the internet. That's how they were doing it. So what I would want to tell you guys, anything that you have using Google, Google, Google Chrome, Dell Chromebook, uh, they can hack into it. If you use Internet Explorer, or what's the other one? The new one that comes with the um, Edge, Microsoft Edge. If you use Internet Explorer or Edge, they can't seem to break through that one. But it's with Chrome and, and Google, they can break in in a heartbeat. So after I kicked them out of my internet last night, I go to upload my uh, Nisargadatta book that I recorded, only to find out that they, they had so, they signed me out of both of my YouTube page. Both of my YouTube pages. So I had to sign back in. So this morning I was led to Nithya Ananda's page. I haven't been on his page in God only knows. God only knows. I don't even remember when the last time I was on his page. But I was led to his page this morning. What is the first thing I see? The UN recognizes Nithi Ananda's persecution. Here's what I would like to tell you guys. Anyone who has been abused by Nithi Ananda, anyone who has been cyber stalked by Nithi Ananda, anyone who has had money stolen out of their bank account by Nithi Ananda, anyone who has been, who is continuously, even currently being stalked by Nithi Ananda, Jordan Kramer, Blissful Athlete, Dritta, um, anyone who has had their children kidnapped by Nithi Ananda, anyone who has had their children raped by Nithi Ananda, I would suggest you all get together and start a letter writing campaign to the United Nations and let them hear the real story of who Nithi Ananda is. My letter will be going out tonight. I, after seven years, I'm still going through this with them. And as usual, it's always me saying, I want to stop this. Stop it. Get out of my stuff and leave me alone. Let me live my life. <coughs> they won't. My letter to the UN will be going out tonight. Seven years I have been cyber stalked and abused by these people. And now they are literally trying to prevent me from earning a living. That is just not going to happen. That is just not going to happen. See, as Nisargadatta says, there are times in life where we must act. Never react. But we must act. As we look at these sleepers in their delusion, all we can do is laugh at them, at their idiocy. 
they're running around the internet like little cockroaches, scared to death that somebody's going to out them. They're like little cockroaches. Well, somebody needs to get out the raid. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Nobody will ever interfere with my ability to live, to survive, to earn a living. It's just not going to happen. So the sheriff in California or the police department in California will be getting a nice little letter from me about Jordan Kramer. And um, the United Nations will be getting a letter from me as well about Nithyananda and all of his goons. And I was led to one of his videos that he put up there about um, when, you, when you listen to the guru, your life changes or something like that. Talking about the guru vak. Guru tells you something, you should do it and your life will change. You see, this person is not a guru. He's a criminal. This person, uh, if he was a guru, he would not be telling his disciples to be doing criminal activity on the internet. And one little uh, Freudian slip that he made there in that video, you can go watch it. I will not pollute my page any further with his crap. Um, you can go watch it. It says, uh, listen to the guru and your life will change or something like that. Um, he's, t he's telling all the people that follow him that you are all an extension of me. Paramashiva runs through all of us, and you are an extension of me. I also have Paramashiva running for me. So he tries to correct himself to say he also has Paramashiva running through him, but then he goes right back because he can't help it because he's programmed himself that even he believes he's God and he's controlling everybody else. And it is the typical feature of a psychopath to believe that everyone else is an extension of him. Everyone else is an object to be used as he likes. They're not people. They don't have feelings. They're only there to give him narcissistic supply. That's all. And so the thing that, that kept confusing me, remember, where do we find confusion? In the personhood, in the psychological mind. So... What was it I was thinking? I don't get it. Because I have absolutely seen how people seem to be terrified when I say something. Like the other fake guru. Terrified when I say something. So terrified that she had my page shut down. Little old me. That's all I kept saying. Little old me. I have a nothing page here. I have no followers here. Yet they are terrified when I say something. What is it? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? And this is exactly what I've done on my com uh, complete path. Com always total introspection. What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? Well, here's what I'm not seeing because uh, the fake guru said it in that video, the guru video this morning. See, Paramashiva is flowing through all of us, having experiences through all of us. The difference with me is... He has literally moved into this form. This is what the competition is with the fake guru, with me. It is a competition, see, because I literally have the same deformities that he has. But unlike him, I have transcended the attachments and all of that stuff of the human being he has not see one thing I can tell you is Paramashiva absolutely adores Tiaga and I am the Tiaga queen and that fake guru over there has failed every test that Paramashiva has put before him so he cries like a little girl that he's being persecuted. And yet he wants to preach to everybody that he knows the answers. And if you listen to the Guru Vak, your life will change. Well, how is that life changing 
Well, I guess it is life-changing to tell Jordan Kremer to become a criminal so he could spend the rest of his life in prison. I guess that would be life-changing, now wouldn't it? So, what I would like to tell all of you, the trail of the breadcrumbs is, they break into your, your uh, social media first, your YouTube account, your Facebook account, that is how they get into your cell phones. They will listen to your phone calls. They will um, go through your mail. They, they will look at everything. They're like roaches. They're like roaches. And what they're doing is they're getting in through your IP address on your router. And if you're hooked in through Google, that's their, uh, that's their home base. That's what they love. Anything Google, Google Chrome. Uh, if you have a Chromebook that you're using, of course, it's all Google. They'll break right in there. They, they have actually been using my cell phones and my computers like it was their computers and cell phones right in front of them. I've watched them. I've literally held my phone in my hand and watched them do things on my phone. So they tried to hack into the security router yesterday, but I caught it. I don't know how long they had been in it before I caught it. What they did, my phone that I had is set up as the main phone, that's what they set the Dell computer up. So they, they left it as the phone so that I, if I saw it, I would think it was the phone, but the system automatically identified it as the Dell. And I said, wait a second, Dell, that's the computer. That's when the, the light bulb went on. So anything Chrome, that's how they're getting in. Then they get your IP address and they literally blocked me from my router yesterday that I, I wasn't able to have internet so that I can continue working until I fixed it. So there's no going back into the personhood for me. I am fully in the source. But what I will tell you is where action is needed, action is performed. Oh, and I can forgive, but I will never forget. And nobody will ever, ever stop me from trying to live. And I will not go around running and crying persecution. I will just take care of business. See, that's what Paramashiva does takes care of business, overcomes his fears. See, it's only fear that makes anybody abuse another person. It's only fear. When they run around with their makeup on like a little girl. See, Paramashiva absolutely adores Tiaga Queens. This is why he now resides with me, which is why I am now considered a Hindu goddess. This is the reason why he feels that he is in competition with me. Do you understand? It's still fear. It's still jealousy. This is the reason why he feels like he is in competition with me because I am now a Hindu goddess and I have transcended everything of the human condition. He has not. He's way deep in it and I can only laugh when I look at him but the United Nations must understand what kind of uh, manipulator and liar he is and a prolific, prolific child rapist that he is. And he belongs in prison. They must understand that. And I would encourage anyone who has ever been a victim of this guy, guy, this he, she, uh, to get a letter writing campaign going to the United Nations. And what I will say is that every time they attack me now, a video will be made with a hashtag for the United Nations on it. And that is my solemn vow. And I'm telling you all, for the last time, Nithi Ananda, listen to the Guru Vak. Go inside and deal 
with your issues. Deal with your patterns ferociously and stop acting like a criminal. This is the Guru Vak coming directly to you from Paramashiva. Don't want to listen? Then you will deal with Kalabedava. That's all I have to say.